Welcome back to another lesson of maths. Okay, can you complete your mental oral stat and recap? And then pop those sheets in your pack so that they can be marked later on. You've got some counting to do in twos and fives. And then some missing numbers. And then a bit of a recap on length. And height. Okay, let's start today. So, we can use all sorts of different items to measure. You could use cubes, lolly sticks, paper clips, hands, feet. So, why not go around your house today and try and find things you can use to measure different items? Okay, so one of the easiest ways to measure things that we usually use is a ruler and we measure them in centimetres okay so that's why they've got numbers on they're not just for drawing straight lines so they're for taking measurements so you just count in a normal way like you would anything else but when you're measuring something you must line it up with the zero and then you count how many numbers long in centimetres something is okay so I'm going to measure this knife and I've got to make sure I put the knife where the zero is and then I'll be able to see what number it finishes and I'm going to draw a line there to help me see it so how long is this knife what number does the knife finish at the knife is nine and it's we measure in centimetres, but we write cm, so the knife is 9 centimetres long, okay, that's what the cm stands for, and we write that down after the number when we're using a ruler and measuring in centimetres. Okay, again, draw the lines to help you see where the object ends, see what, line it up with the number on the ruler. So how long is the key? And write your answer down. Okay, it stops at the number five. So the key is five centimetres long. And I'm going to draw a line for the paintbrush to help me. How long is the paintbrush? What number does it finish on? And write that down. And the paintbrush is seven centimetres long. You can also measure the height of objects with a ruler. So again, I'm going to draw the line. So how many centimetres tall is the duck? It is five centimetres tall. And then again, I'm going to draw the line for the tractor. How many centimetres tall is the tractor? is four centimetres tall. Okay, let's have a look at the height of this set of cubes. So it stops at the number nine on the ruler, which means the height of the red tower is nine centimetres. And then let's see how long the yellow one is. It stops at the number 10. So the yellow tower is 10 centimetres long. So which tower is longer, the red one or the yellow one? The yellow one is longer, isn't it? Because 10 centimetres is more than 9. Okay, this time we're comparing different things. So I measure the red tower first and then measure the set of cubes and decide which one is longer. Pause the video here and I will go through the answer. Okay, so the red tower is 10 centimetres long and the pink tower is 10 centimetres long. So is one longer than the other? They're both the same, aren't they? Because 10 centimetres is equal to 10 centimetres. Lee thinks his toy bus measures 9 centimetres because that's where it stops. 
explain the mistake he has made. So have a look at the ruler. What mistake has he made when he's measured his toy bus? Pause the video and write down an answer. Okay, so as you can see, the arrow is pointing at where he should have started with the object. So he's got to put the object on the zero for it to be measured accurately. So if he'd have put it across to the zero, it would have measured at six centimetres, not nine. Because as you can see, he started it at three and missed out three centimetres. So he didn't put the object in the right place. So he ends up with an accurate... It, it's not accurate. Whose ribbon is being measured? So there's a ribbon along the bottom. How many centimetres long is that ribbon? Okay, it's eight centimetres long. So let's find out whose ribbon it is. So my ribbon is greater than five centimetres long, Nala says. And Ralph says my ribbon is less than seven centimetres long. So if the ribbon is eight centimetres, is it Nyla's ribbon or is it Ralph's? Pause the video and write down your answer. Okay, the ribbon is eight centimetres long, so it has to be Nyla's. Because eight centimetres is more than five centimetres like her ribbon is described, but it's not less than seven centimetres like Ralph's. Okay, Yusuf emptied the bath water from the tub into the jugs. The bath was full to the top when he emptied it. How many jugs of water is are full? What's the capacity of the bathtub? That just means how much water could the bathtub hold? Look at the jugs carefully when you count them and pause the video to work it out. Okay, so as you can see, there are six jugs there, but only five of them are full. So the bathtub holds five jugs worth of water. So the capacity of the bathtub is five jugs. Sharon emptied the pin into some jars. The paint pot was full when she started and she emptied out the paint. Is it true or false? The capacity of paint pots is eight jars. So is the capacity of the paint, so how much it can hold, eight jars is there eight jars of paint worth in that pot pause the video and decide your answer okay there are 10 jars there but if you count them the yellow ones are the ones that have got paint in she is right there are eight jars of paint so that pot of paint holds eight jars worth of paint okay your sheet here, so you've got some measuring of different items and you need to decide how long they are. Remember to put CM for centimetres each time and then you decide which one is longer or whether one is taller or shorter. And then the capacity, so you're matching up the cups to the correct word, which one is empty, which one's almost full which one's almost empty and which one's full. And then you need to have a drawing, an almost full cup and an almost empty cup. Then pick the word and put it in the gap to make the sentence correct. And then there's a little bit of a problem for you to work out there with Teddy and make sure you